we have an expression with a bunch of exponents and radicals, and they want to know which answer is equivalent to it. So I'm assuming, you know, by hand, we would just simplify and we would get one of our answers. And that is definitely going to be our fastest approach. If you are just desmosing everything, though, we will show how to do that as well. So first, by hand, just remember that these numbers in our radicals are just the denominators of our exponents. So I can rewrite that as x to the 29 divided by 4. And then for y, I can write it as y to the 11 over 4. And then down below, I'm going to write the 1 12th off to the side because we don't want it to interfere. Uh, we can say it's x to the third, and then that's going to be y to the 9 divided by 6. We can just simplify to 3 over 2. And then another exponent rule, and that is when we divide bases, we subtract exponents. So it turns into a fraction problem. We can do 29 over 4 uh, minus 3 over 1. And again, we just want common denominators to subtract uh, fractions. So that's going to be times 4, times 4. So that actually turns into minus 12 over 4. So we can ignore all that. And that's just going to get us 17 over 4 for what x is raised to. For the y, it's going to be 11 over 4 minus 3 over 2. Again, common denominators. So we multiply both by 2. We get 6 over 4. So 11 minus 6 is going to get us y to the 5 over 4. And then don't forget that 12 is in our denominator, but it looks like they put it back into radical form to get our answers. So just remember that little number is going to be the number that is the denominator of our, uh, <clears throat> our exponents. So I write radical 4, and beneath that it's just going to be x to the 17, y to the 5, and finally, we didn't forget about the 12 that we're dividing by, and it looks like that's going to be answer B here. You just want to spam stuff in Desmos. It is a lot of typing, and there are a few little rules you have to remember. So in any expression is equivalent problem, you go ahead and you just type in your original expression. But remember, in your little square root at the bottom here, it's not going to get you with that number. So you have to remember to go to functions, scroll to the bottom, and you type in this function. That's going to let you type that number up top there. So that's rule number one. Number two is when you have an xy function, it needs to be equal to something. So you'll notice this little error symbol. It doesn't matter what you set it equal to. I just set it equal to one, just so it shows up on my graph. And finally, number three, all you have to do is type in your answers until one of your graphs match because it's supposed to be equivalent. I type in A, you can see it doesn't match my graph. I type in B, and you can see it, it doesn't look like it overlaps because it's actually underneath, but look what happens when I turn red off. It is overlapping our red graph, so B is also gonna be our answer.